welcome my students today we are going to learn how to find out the opposite faces in a dice a question from dice invariably appears in exams like ssc and the concept of finding the opposite faces is the most important concept in this chapter but first of all let us acquaint ourselves with the dice itself a dice is basically a cube having six faces every face of a dice has one face opposite to it and four adjacent faces say in this like dice the yellow face has red blue orange and green as its adjacent faces and white as its opposite face also from any given vantage point you can either see one face of the dice two or three in most of the questions that you will encounter you will be given three faces of a dice now any question of a dice can be solved using your imagination however there are three rules which you can use to solve the question more comfortably let us start with rule number 1 rule number 1 is pretty simple any face has four adjacent faces and one opposite face hence the faces which are adjacent cannot be opposite to it say in this dice the blue face has yellow red white and orange as its adjacent faces hence naturally they cannot be opposite to the face that is blue the face which is opposite to blue blue is green now rule number 2 in most comparison between the two positions of a dice if two positions of a dice are given and two faces are common then the remaining uncommon faces are opposite to each other say here is an example where two positions of the same dice are displayed and one and two that is two faces in both the dices are common hence the remaining faces that is 5 and 4 are opposite to each other the only limitation of this rule is that we can only find one pair of opposite faces however that limitation is overcome by rule number 3 if the two positions of a dice are given in such a manner that there is only one face that is common say in this example 6 is common in both the dices in such case we use the cyclic rule through which we can find all the three pairs of opposite faces let us see how we can find all the three faces we will start with the common face and move in clockwise direction let second dice to we will move in the same fashion that is clockwise direction the first faces which are encountered are opposite to each other in first dice we encounter three first and the second one hence three is opposite to the face having one now we'll move ahead in the same direction that is clockwise direction here we encounter five how in the second dice we encounter four hence the face having 4 is opposite to the face having 5 and the face which is common that is 6 is opposite to the face which is invisible that is which is not displayed in either of the two dices hence 6 must be opposite to face having number 2 how or note that here we have chosen to move in a clockwise direction we can also move in a anti clockwise direction but we have to make sure that we are moving in the same direction both the dices that is if you are moving in clockwise direction the first dice we must move clockwise in the second one too if you are moving the anti clockwise direction from the first dice then in the second dice too we must move in the anti clockwise direction and we should always start from the common face hence in rule number 3 we could manage to find all the three pairs of opposite faces while in rule number 
we could only manage one pair of opposite face. Now let us solve an example using all these three rules. Now let us solve a question using all the three rules to further clarify the concepts. In this question, four positions of the same dice are displayed. One, two, three, and four. And we are supposed to find out the face which is opposite to the face having digit one. Now rule number one says that the faces which are adjacent cannot be opposite to the given face. Let us see position number two. Here, four and six are adjacent to one. Hence, we can eliminate option A. In second, in the third position of the dice, four and five are shown to be the adjacent faces to one. Hence, we can also eliminate option D. In the fourth position of the dice, three and six are adjacent faces. Hence, we can eliminate option B2. Hence, using rule number one and the method of elimination, we can arrive at the right answer, that is two. The face which is opposite to the face having digit one. Now, let us apply rule number two, wherein we are supposed to find out two positions of the same dice having two common faces. Say in this like question, the second and the third positions have one and four as common faces. Hence the remaining faces, the uncommon faces must be opposite to each other. Hence six must, must be opposite to five. As we saw earlier, using rule number two, we can only arrive at one pair of opposite faces. Hence, to find the other pair of opposite faces, we need to again compare two dices such that two faces of these dices are common. Hence, let us compare uh, position number two with position number four. Here, one and six are common. The remaining faces, the uncommon faces, again must be opposed to each other, which is four and three. Now we have two pair of opposite faces. Naturally, the other two faces must be opposite to each other. That is one and two. Hence, using rule number two twice, we arrive at the all the three pairs of opposite faces. Now let us apply rule number three. To apply rule number three, we need two portions of dice having one face common, which in this question can be position number one and position number three, which have five as the common face. Now let us apply the cyclic rule and move clockwise. In first dice, the first number encountered when we move clockwise on the common face is two. Hence, we write two. Now in the third position, we move again from the common face, that is five, in the same direction, that is clockwise. Here we encounter one. Hence, phase two must be opposite to phase one. Now moving ahead, we encounter in the first dice number three. And the second dice, we encounter number four. Hence, three must be opposite to number four. Now, the common face, that is 5, is opposite to the individual face, that is 5, which has not been displayed in position number 1 or 3. Hence, using all the three rules, we could solve a question, however it depends 
on the kind of positions that are provided to us. Today we learned the concept of finding the opposite faces. Later on we will delve into the other concepts in this chapter. Thank you.